stranded on end? Yeah, it was. Ah, uh, the shock too. There's your launching material. We are now witnessing the preparations for Greg's launch of the cannon. Probably blow a hole right through it. Perfect. I'll do this like a, a Discovery Channel documentary. <laughs> Should I do it with a British accent? Gregory School has prepared these materials for an exhausting two years. With the addition of the air compressor, he is now able to exemplify the super cannon. This is going to be Oscar material. Greg puts in the projectile and then the wadding. And closes the breach. And then kicks it.
Mike's new style t-shirt. It's the uh, past the grunge look, let's call it the deteriorating look. So. It didn't release all the pressure. Oh, it's still. Oh, it's coming in from the air compressor. <laughs> it hit the hole. Is that what it did? Mm -hmm. I was wondering why it came right back at us. Notice the color. No, it should definitely hit next to the hole. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you do know how to operate this, right? <laughs> I think. I think you better write a user's manual for this. Checklist. Trigger mechanism right there. Very high tech. Somewhere right around here. Okay. Works. <laughs> Rupture of the ball. I'll see the ball. Oh, jeez. And it's flat, huh? Embedded some of the fuzz in the roof. Split somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fantastic. So let's take another tour of the cannon. Okay, from what I understand, which isn't much, this is the barrel. And goes down here to the breech, which is where you put in whatever is going to be fired out. Water balloons, tennis balls, small annoying children. Right down in this middle part is, what would you call that? The part that actually moves, the, uh, that lets the air out. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what he calls that. <laughs> Anyway, well, that's the thing the that it does. Yeah, the valve. That's exactly what it is. And what it does, it takes all the air from these ballast tanks here, and when this valve moves right here, it releases the air through the barrel and into a perfectly good picnic table.
did hit that hole just about this yeah. <laughs> <Did it. laughs> I don't think I want to be standing in front of that. And Greg designed the chassis for it also. Very impressive frame. Has yet to devise a way to hook it up to his tank. So he'll be the army of Greg. You're going to fire that thing? That might put a hole to the picnic table. Now let's, let, me, let me look at the projectile again. Filled with water. Yay. This should be very interesting. <coughs> All right, I'm on the table. Ready? Sure. <laughs> 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 That's interesting. That <laughs> I just think we have a big piece of shrapnel right about there. Let's go take a look at the destruction. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> just don't make these cans the way they used to. Holy mackerel! <laughs> Kill all the shrapnel. Somebody go get it in her foot. Some can right there. Is that where it hit right there? I don't know. Well, yeah, but look, there's a staple and it folded around the staple. Oh, jeez. <laughs>